State of Minnesota continues to be at odds with Republican controlled states. Just today, our state Senate passed three bills involving things that they are often at divided sides on with the other party. This was the scene at the Capitol today as lawmakers passed bills to ban conversion therapy for LGBTQ kids, to offer legal protections for women who come here for abortions, and for legal defense for trans kids who come here for gender affirming care. These are all a step, supporters say, towards gender equity for every single Minnesotan and those who come here. Here's John Croman. Electricity in the air on a day history would be made in the Minnesota Senate, the end of a long journey for those who fought for a ban against conversion therapy. The young adults who have shown up year over year over year in this institution to pour out their hearts and tell their stories of pain, of alienation. Scott Dibble's bill would ban licensed counselors and therapists from a practice that virtually every national medical organization has branded as harmful to children's mental health, a form of therapy depicted in the 2018 Hollywood film Boy Erased. Love who you love. Walk with your head held high. You are perfect. You are beautiful. You make us better. Republican opponents pointed to people who once identified as gay, but no longer do. My friend who's a former homosexual was deeply depressed. He wanted help to change his lifestyle. And yet the way I read this bill, and even the part about advertisement, is he could not get that help in the state of Minnesota. Is that correct? The person you're describing um, was, is an adult. Uh, and has uh, exercised their freedom and agency autonomy to do as they see fit, sought out religious counseling and therapy, and uh, moved on with uh, his life as he saw fit. This bill would not affect his ability to do that in any way. The Senate also took on a bill providing legal protections for transgender children who come here for gender-affirming health care. This bill protects those parents it protects those kids and it protects those providers. It comes at a time when more than a dozen states have banned gender affirming health care for those under 18 and many others are considering such a ban. Let's do what's right and protect them until they get at an age where they can properly weigh the consequences. Wait and see has devastating effects for people over 18. The second thing I'll say is gender affirming care is developmentally appropriate care that is determined with a parent, the provider, and the child. This debate came a day after Senator May Quaid filed an ethics complaint against Senator Glenn Grunhagen of Glencoe. The other thing to understand, and I emailed all of you information about this. What Grunhagen emailed the Democrats was a link to search results for the search terms male to female surgery, which included graphic videos of operations that for the record, are not performed on children in Minnesota. Wanting to draw a very bright line in the sand of what is and is not appropriate behavior and conduct of the Senate. Now, the other bill that they passed here today in the Senate was the one that provides legal protections to those coming to this state to get abortions. That bill had a slight change made by the Senate, so it's going to have to go back to the House. But the other two bills, the trans refuge bill and the other one, the ban on conversion therapy, those are going to the governor's desk and will be signed. Back to you. All right. Busy day. Thanks so much, John Croman.